I'm feeling crafty today and like I want to take on another sewing project. So I know I said that I was going to create a top that matches the black star like legging bell bottom pants that I made. Um, so I started working on a pattern and literally I am making this from scratch. <laughs> I'm like feeling a little overwhelmed right now. You know, like when you're just diving into something that you have no idea how to do it. Sorry about the noise, Red's cleaning the studio. But I started to make this pattern based off of a top or a bodysuit that I liked. So I don't have the sleeves yet. So I just wanna make sure that I'm getting the fit right and the like, you know, crop right and the ties right and the back and the front and all that stuff. So I have some fabric. We're gonna do a little test on some white fabric. And um, I am going to take this shirt once I'm done to Palm Springs this weekend. I'm going with some friends and we are going to have a little tie dye party. We are going to tie dye some stuff and I'm gonna take the shirt to tie dye. So, I mean, it's gonna be white. It's my sample, so. I'll make another one out of the star fabric once I get this pattern down. So this is just like a test. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to vlog. It's, you know, the beginning of the week and I have about four days to make this top <laughs> before we go. So I'm hoping to make some good progress tonight and um, maybe make the pattern for the sleeves. So we're gonna do bell sleeves. It's gonna be super cute. Uh, by the way, we have a mirror in our room now and my studio is done. I was just shooting some stuff earlier today, but if you haven't seen the little tour that we did over on Ice Cupquake, make sure to go check that out. Solid video. Um, but let's go ahead and start this pattern. So I guess the easiest thing for me to do right now is just to cut this out. I'll cut out the back on the folds. And then I'm going to pin it together and put it on my body to see how it fits. So yeah, I'm just going to, you know, I'm a little overwhelmed. So we're just going to take it, take it slow. So I don't even know if this is like cotton fabric. It has some stretch to it. I don't even know like what it's really made of, to be honest with you. I hope that the actual tie dye sticks to it because I know with with tie-dye, it has to be a certain type of fabric, but we'll see. I need to get one of those like rolly cutter things. I see a lot of people with those and it seems like way more convenient than scissors. Let's just roughly do this. So I actually saw someone making a pattern a similar way, but they were actually making it out of a white t-shirt. And I was like, that seems easy enough. Kind of just like following the t-shirt pattern and then just kind of adjusting it as you go. I said, I can figure that out. We can do that. This is honestly like we're, we're playing, we're doing Frankenstein, right? We are creating, <laughs> maybe it's going to be a monster. I don't know. <laughs> we can fix it. So that's the left side and the back. So that's that. Now I'm going to pin the back to the front. Okay. So now that this is pinned, let's carefully not get stabbed. Don't get stabbed. Ah, I got stabbed. Okay. So I believe it's going to be like something like this. That's not too bad. And I don't know how I'm gonna, I wonder if I should just tie it like this and just have it tie kind of deep though. Hmm. Okay, I'll be back with the sewn piece. Okay, I have it sewn together. I think I was gonna have it like wrap around and then come back to the front and tie, but change of heart. I think I'm just gonna do it like this make it easier and then the length I could even just like move it up and down so it doesn't really matter but yeah I think I'm just gonna have it like this I don't have to make the things as long I still got to make them longer than this so um and then we can kind of like curve them and make them look cute so it's not so flat but that looks good I'm surprised <laughs> okay so now actually I'm gonna adjust this pattern and then attach this to the shirt and then we'll figure out the sleeves. 
Okay, so it's the next day. Adding these little things uh, took much longer than I thought. So it is a little lower. Well, it's not that bad. I think that'll be awesome. So now for the sleeves. I am gonna be using this top. I bought this just like as a fun accessory piece, but it's one of those like weird short tops that you wear like on top of a bathing suit or something. But I don't know why I'm saying but like that today, but <laughs> I like the sleeves. So we're gonna base our sleeves off of this. I've never done these types of sleeves before. So I'm gonna make a pattern with the tracing paper and then attempt to sew it, but yeah. I just wanted to show like look how much this is like a full-on circle so yeah when i have the sleeve laid out flat it's literally i just fold it in half cut out a half a circle longer on the bottom and then a hole for the opening for the sleeve all right let's do it so if you guys want to make a pattern out of a shirt that you already have that you like the way it fits but you want to make it in a different fabric you literally just lay it out on the tracing paper. I have it flat. Make sure that the edges are touching and then we're just gonna trace it. So I'm just tracing it onto the tracing paper. And this one, since it's a complete circle, we're gonna make sure to note on the pattern to place it on the fold. So when you go to cut it out, it's folded in half and you have a perfect circle. Well. This isn't really a circle, but so here's what I got. Just like that, let's remove this guy. And I think for the arm, actually, this is gonna be cut out, but I literally could just draw this on. It looks like it's just like a half circle. So I might wanna make them a little bit bigger depending on the size of my sleeves to match. So there is the full thing. Now we cut it out. Okay, so since I used a different pattern for the sleeve, I'm just lining up my pattern with the actual sleeve attachment here. And this was how originally it was with the first, with the pink one. And I just moved it down this way and kind of just made it touch the corner, made it touch the top of this and left space for what I've already sewn. And then just like smoothly transitioned to the line. So I hope that works. <laughs> Honestly, this is my first time kind of like Frankensteining pattern together. <laughs> Literally, that's what I feel like I'm doing, so. But it's okay, because we're testing it. Honestly, if I could pull this off, I'm gonna be like super happy, just because I literally can make any clothing that I like and custom fit it to my body so that it makes me look and feel good. So I got this guy cut out. I'm gonna cut out the white fabric. And I'll show you guys once I have it sewn. Fingers crossed. I got one sleeve done. So it's looking so cute. It was a little mind boggling to put together, but it took my time. It is a little bit tighter than I would have wanted because I think the fabric that I made the pattern out of is more stretchy and it's thinner. It still works though. Okay. This is fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make this a thing. Let's just, let's just make these a thing. We got two done. Time to attach them <laughs> to the shirt. <laughs> okay, finish. This is my first time putting the whole thing on, so I think it is going to work. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's tie it. This actually looks really cute, just like with a shirt underneath it, if I wanted to style it different ways. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna tie it back here because it's gonna be more of like a crop top. Okay. There she is. Oh my gosh. Can we just appreciate how beautiful this top is? I am so happy that I did everything right. <laughs> I kind of like am a little bit nervous to tie dye it now. I mean, it is a sample just to get the pattern right. So I'm going to make this out of my nice fabric but I don't know, the plan was to tie dye it and now I'm 
I'm scared to ruin it. It came out so good. Like customizing it to your own body makes all the difference. Okay, I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna move forward with it and try to tie dye it. So I will see you all during our tie dye session. I'm back home and ready to try on my shirt. Okay, I have a cute little bralette. I'm gonna wear it underneath this, but let's go ahead and put this guy on. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of wear it really high and then bring these guys low, tie it in the back. All right. Here she is. Ba, 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 ba. So cute. I was really worried about this one. I thought that the colors were gonna like bleed together and look gross, but they actually look so like vibrant. It reminds me of like a dinosaur egg hatching. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, but this outfit is such a mood. Yes. Don't worry about the mess. I've been crafting. <laughs> I'm seriously so happy with the way that it came out. I was really nervous. Now I need to make it in the black, but so much has happened this week. Um, I have like a few projects that I was working on. I started, sneak peek, I started learning how to lino cut and print. Uh, I painted on some glass. You'll see this video on my channel, uh, Eyes Cupcake channel, and we released some butterflies. Oh, and look. Look, I'm excited to show you this. I gave myself my first gel sculpting manicure. Oh my gosh, I mean, it's not perfect. Still a little bumpy, but still. Look at it, so pretty. I was gonna record a Tiffy Tries for my nails since I've never done it before, but you know, I decided I don't have to record everything. So I decided to have some me time. I'm actually glad that I didn't do it because it took three hours to do one hand and two hours the next day because I'm learning, okay? But I don't know if you guys want to see like an update nail video because I know I did one on this channel originally when I first got my gel uh, set up. I haven't really done much. So this was like my first kind of dive back into everything and I am addicted. I'm not letting anyone touch my hands anymore because I had one of the worst manicures I have ever had in my life last week. And it was just like, I'm doing it myself. Nail tech Tiffy, here we come. Okay, we're gonna end our vlog outside, checking up on my caterpillars. I'm glad that you guys liked my butterfly video. I hope that some of you guys found that helpful. We released two butterflies today and we have one coming out tomorrow and two more just went into their cocoon. So they're doing well. I don't have any more little eggs. So they're all, they're all big now. They're all in there, but I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. You know, we're just hanging out. I seriously have been really loving making these vlogs. Like I haven't vlogged like this like this consistent, I don't think ever. <laughs> Normally I just don't, I don't vlog, but I don't know, it's fun. Change pace and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, hang out. I wanna make another shirt in the cute fabric. But I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great weekend. I love you so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.